Get ready, here it comes. That was close. Whew, it's a good thing we had this defense. But what happens when someone attacks my cloud infrastructure? Well, no problem, that's why we've got cloud armor. Wait, armor made of clouds? No, cloud armor for Google Cloud. Oh. Yeah. With Google Cloud Armor, you can protect your network and infrastructure against denial of service attacks, monitor security, and much more. Oh, well, that sounds like a must have. How do we get started? Yeah, let's jump right in. Let's start with what is Cloud Armor and how does it help? Cloud Armor is a network security offering for protecting your Google Cloud deployments against Layer 3 through Layer 7 DDoS attacks by leveraging Google's global edge infrastructure and DDoS defense expertise. Cloud Armor works with Global HTTP HTTPS Load Balancer, which provides built-in infrastructure DDoS defense. You can create rules using combination of Layer 3 to 7 parameters and geolocation to protect your deployment. You can also use predefined rules to defend against cross-site scripting and SQL injection defenses. Create the policy and apply to more than one service. In Stackdriver logging, you can see if the policy was matched and applied to the incoming request. You don't always have to apply the policy and rules in access or deny mode. You can understand the access patterns by using preview mode to ensure you're blocking correct traffic. You can also enforce access control based on IPv4 and IPv6 addresses or CIDR blocks. All right, enough talk. Now let's see how to set up Cloud Armor. On Google Cloud Console, choose Network Security under Networking and then Create Policy. Give your policy a name. Select the Rule action from Allow and Deny. Then add rule. Give your rule a description. Under conditions, choose a type. Right now under the beta release, you can select IP address ranges. Provide the matching criteria with IP address range and select the action allow or deny. Initially, you may want to just preview the traffic under this rule, so select enable checkbox to just review. Priority determines the order in which the rules are checked, so accordingly, we're just going to set 1000 in this case. Now, the last step is to set up targets. Targets are GCP resources that you want to control access to. You will need to have a predefined load balanced target, so select that as one of the targets that you want. You will see the policy create on the dashboard. In order to test if the policy worked, access the backend. In Google Cloud Console, navigate to Stack Driver Logging. And expand the recent log, and you will see the enforced security policy under JSON payload. There you have it. You just created a simple blacklist policy in Cloud Armor and verified that it worked in Stack Driver Logging. So Mark, that's how easy it is to set up Cloud Armor. Wow, with all that security, everyone should be using it to keep their network safe. That's right, and you can get started right now using Google Cloud Armor to protect yourself from attacks. Woo! <laughs> Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below. And if you want to get in contact with us, click the link below.